For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. We had been so blessed to enjoy 40 plus years in our respective ministries and have always believed we were fulfilling God's plan for us. But in these last three years, Jeremiah's words came to life in a special way as we served as full-time missionaries to Congo. And this experience exponentially changed our lives. Many of you are aware of our history, but for those who are not, we'll provide a quick overview. I retired from pastoral ministry on April 1, 2013. I felt God calling me to refocus my life priority to family and to Congo. I spent several months caring for our newborn granddaughter, Carmina, as our daughter struggled with medical issues. But when mommy regained her strength, I traveled to Congo to reconnect with our partners there and to visit the many projects of the Congo Partnership. I continued to work as a healthcare consultant and attempted to pursue options for a part-time consulting job with the same corporation. However, while attending the 2014 centennial celebration of the Methodist Church in Congo, held in the village of Wamboyama, Jonathan was approached to consider becoming commissioned as a missionary to Congo. He hastily called me from the village and asked my opinion about this proposition. I immediately responded, yes, and our lives have never been the same. I retired from my corporate position on December 31, 2014, and our new journey began. Behold, I am doing a new thing, says the Lord. Well, this passage from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19 came alive for us. Wow. We renamed our retirement as God's reimagining, and those words have come to fruition. We could not have begun to imagine all that God would bring into our daily lives, including miracle after miracle. As the Congolese people say, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, for that is God's nature. Wow! Yes, God is so good. The blessings we have experienced can not adequately be expressed in words. Although the moments of joy are innumerable, the stressors and challenges also cannot be computed. But God has been with us through it all, and the Congolese people have taught us so much about how to faithfully respond to daily challenges. We are grateful to Global Ministries for this opportunity to serve as missionaries, which has been a blessing. But through God's discerning voice in our time of prayer, we have determined God now has new plans for us, calling us to retire from our roles as full-time missionaries so that we can focus on our families and the work of the Congo Partnership. Our retirement from Global Ministries was effective March 31st, 2018. As you can imagine, our hearts struggle with the thought of stepping away from the daily interactions with our friends in Congo. We will truly miss the many little children running into our arms wanting to play, sing, and dance with us. No doubt the relationships that have been developed over the years will continue as we are grateful for today's technology making it possible to Skype, FaceTime, text, or make phone calls with our Congolese friends and even post on Facebook. But technology does not replace physical presence. So we definitely want to keep ourselves connected and we plan to return to Congo and the partnership projects as we visit at least annually on a volunteer basis, leading mission teams and providing accountability and support. We love this country, Congo, and we'll continue to work together with all that God is doing for the Central Congo Episcopal area. We will continue almost daily interactions with the Congolese leadership, Dr. Adolf Yamba Yamba, mission coordinator, and Anthony Papano Steffi. Anthony has functioned as our administrative assistant over the past two years. A graduate of Africa University, Anthony possesses impressive organizational and critical thinking skills, and we have been training Anthony in anticipation of our transition. He will now serve as the administrative assistant to Dr. Adolf, entrusting this important work into the hands of the very capable Congolese leaders. As your missionaries, Relationships have also been developed with individuals and churches in the United States in astounding ways. Over and over when speaking in churches, parishioners approached us with this message. Now we get it. Now we understand the projects of the Congo Partnership and will continue to support them. We finally met our missionaries and we can see what our support is doing. These words touched our lives and our hearts and we learn how vitally important direct communication and connections are to mission work. 
And we are so grateful to the churches, pastors, and individuals who have been there to support us. We pray that relationships with individuals and churches in the U.S. will continue as your prayers and financial support of the projects remains a critical priority for the projects, and we pledge to continue to share the stories. We've seen local churches catch the fire of the Holy Spirit as they witness the impact of their prayers and financial support for the people of Congo. Children and youth and adults have been moved to be the hands and heart of Christ through their support, and we are so grateful. So please continue to invite us to visit your churches. Although we do reside in Florida, we intend to travel to the Episcopal area in Philadelphia and across the United Methodist Connection as long as our health and stamina maintain. Through the Congolese people, God has taught us so much and we will never be the same. Thank you. Lusaka Ifula. Merci beaucoup. We know God has a plan for us. And for you. As together we seek to be the hands and the heart of Jesus in the world. world.